Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot using the print screen button. So if you look at your keyboard, and it probably looks similar to mine, maybe some slight differences, you'll find your print screen button to the right of your F12 button. Let me uh, zoom in a little. Here we go. So see, to the right of the F12, there's a print screen. It's above the backspace button. Yours is probably in a location very similar to this. It might look slightly different. It might look like this, where it says print screen on only half of the button. That's okay. It functions the same way, and that's the important button for when we're taking a screenshot. So let's take a screenshot in real time, shall we? How about we open up our Buckaroo watch board, and then what is this? Oh, an update. Let's say you have questions about this update, and you want to take a screenshot of this, and you want to send it to our uh, support team, all you have to do is get this on your screen. You hit the print screen button, the one I pointed out earlier, and then you're going to open up Microsoft Paint. Right now I'm using Microsoft Paint because it's the most basic common denominator and it's on most computers, but once it's open and it's on a blank template, you're going to hit Control V to paste your screen. When you hit that print screen button earlier, it copied your entire screen. So watch, I'm going to paste the entire screen into Microsoft Paint. Control V. Here it is. But let's say you want to crop it a little, because maybe you don't want to send me all this extra stuff on the background. You just want to send me the notification you have a question about. You would then go to your cropping tool, and you would crop what you want to send. So get everything in the border. Then I'm going to hit Control C to copy what's inside of this border. And then I'm going to hit Control N to bring up a new blank paint template. So Control N, don't save. See it's blank, hit Control V, and just the notification popped up. So then you would save it. Let's call this Buckaroo Help, why not? I save it as JPEGs, just force a habit. But there you go, now you have a JPEG image that can be sent to our support team and they can see what you're looking at and they'll be able to more effectively and quickly assist you. That is how you take a screenshot.